Welcome to the Sage 200 tutorial for changing financial statements and adding new nominal codes. What we're going to do during this tutorial is add a new nominal code with multiple cost centers and departments for worldwide sales and have it appear in the sales total here under UK and EU sales. So first off what I'm going to do is look at the profit and loss layout as it stands now. So to do that I'm coming into nominal ledger utilities ledger setup financial statement layouts. Within here remember you can set up as many profit and loss layouts as you wish to, as many balance sheet layouts as you wish to, but for the moment I'm just going to edit this profit and loss layout. Come into edit and here I have the rows that are built up to make the P&L. So at the moment I have report category 31 e UK sales, 32 EU sales. I'm going to add in report category 33 as worldwide sales. So to do that in the first instance, I'm just going to close down here, come down to see if 33 is available as a report category. Still in ledger setup, report categories. Work my way down the report categories and there's 31 and 32, so 33 is available. I don't have to be in sequence, it just makes life a little easier. So, worldwide sales. It is a profit and loss account item, so that's fine. So I click on OK there. So now I've got my report category. I can now create the nominal code. So at the moment I have 31,100 as sales. 31,200 as EU sales. I'm going to add in 31,300 as worldwide sales. So now into nominal accounts generate new accounts and I will get a warning message here saying I'm not allowed to do that because my settings aren't that way around so what I need to do is come down into utilities ledger setup ledger settings and just click on to start with account number only so what I'm going to do is generate just the account number and have the system apply the cost centers and departments for me so click OK there back into nominal accounts generate new accounts so I just need to type in my nominal account number my nominal account name apply the report category that I've just created which is 33 there we go I'm going to allow journal postings I'm not going to see the balance on my display list but I can select that if I wish to I'm I'm not going to allow batch postings and I'm going to keep the transactions for 24 months. Select next. This is where I can apply the number of cost centers against the code. So I'm going to select them all for now. Next. And then select the departments. Again, I'm going to select them all. Click on next. So these are all the nominal accounts that will be created now. I can deselect any of these at any point if I need to, but once I select finish, it will then go away and create all of these nominal accounts. Okay, so that's now processed through. If I come back and refresh my list out, there we go. The 31 300s have now been created, so I've now got my worldwide sales in my chart of accounts. So I just now need to come back to financial statements layout under utilities here back into my particular layout click on edit the buttons might differ slightly depending on what version you're on but fundamentally the same down to line 7 insert my new line so I have a choice of line types text which is obviously just straight text the subtotal a single account group in this case yes I just want a single report category code here. I can have multiple account groups if I'm creating a summary type P&L. So single account group 33 as the category code. It brings through the description. I can amend the description if I need to. Over to the right here it's ordinarily a credit so credits will appear as a positive value. I've got a two column P&L layout here so I'm printing that out on the right hand side so that's all fine so that's entered that line in click on save click on close that's now amended that layout 
One thing to get in the habit of doing that once you've created a layout is just to select validate. The system will then go through and make sure the report category codes that are set of profit and loss have all been used on your profit and loss account, which they have in my instance. I'm not missing any. I've not duplicated any, so my P&L layout is fine there. Click on close. Click on close. And I can come back to run my P&L report under report financial statements. Different types of profit and loss determine what columns I'm looking at. If you wish to create a profit and loss with a different set of columns, then that would have to be done through Report Designer, and I'll address that in a later blog. So if we come on to Select and Run My Profit and Loss Layout, that particular month's fine. Click on OK. system will then go through and create the report. There's our report. And there I have worldwide sales added on to my report. No data in there yet, but obviously as the data comes through into the nominal account, it will then process through and it'll be included in the subtotal report. And there you go. That's adding in a new nominal account with multiple cost centre departments and adding it onto your profit and loss account.